I'm finally in Liverpool after 18 months of being at home. I moved into my flat roughly a week and a half ago. Spent the weekend packing up the car and driving up and setting everything up. Oh, it was effort to be fair. So I actually got the train back here on Monday morning, quite early, like 6.45 my train was. This week is pretty much completely admin related week. I've had an eye test and obviously got some more bits and bobs that I needed for the flat. I had to get my matching toaster. Oh God, look at this. So I got this at a great price from a charity shop. Oh, it's hot still for my tea. And then I had to get the matching toaster because, you know, control freak and all. I love my little flat actually. I've, it, I've made it really homely. I think it's pretty important to make your living space homely because especially when you're doing something like a PhD where you need that mental break. I met my supervisor for the first time in person on Monday. It was a very quick meeting just to say hello, just like show me a little bit around the building. It was very quick so it was just kind of a little bit of an introduction. I don't technically start my course till Friday, so this is why I'm spending this week trying to settle in and get sorted with all the admin before I start properly. Oh. oh yeah, there's like taster sessions for sports this week, so I've got I'm gonna go and attend the tennis trials today. It's a gymnastics taster session on Friday, so I get to do a bit of training then. <sighs> mm. So yeah, this week is uh, pretty chill. I will show you some fun B-roll of my flat. I bought some plants yesterday. That's about it for now. trials didn't make the team but we move it's fine it is a welcome party in my accommodation tonight so i'm just about to jump in the shower get changed have a little bev and then have a nice evening i wonder if anyone else feels this way but i literally feel so freaking old being a postgraduate i feel like i fit in really well at uni for like obviously i've, I've been there in sheffield for four years I felt like it was just, I was in the right place. And now I've, I went to tennis and they were like, how old are you? What year are you in? And I'm like, Ugh. and everyone's just like 18, 19 and like literally just discovering life. And I don't know, I feel like I'm past it a little bit. I really wasn't expecting to feel out of the loop and I do. And I hope um, I get used to it and it just passes because it sucks a little bit. I don't want to be old. <laughs> Grow up Dina. Rain in Liverpool, man. <laughs> I'm tired this morning. <laughs> I need to move my ass. Technically, this is my first day of my PhD, 1st of October. But unfortunately, I've literally had no guidance whatsoever. I've not got a work laptop, I've not got an office space yet. So I think the plan of action for today is to kind of go through the, the instructions and content that I have been given already. I've had access to a couple of like introductory webinars for general PhD students. So I'm gonna go through them, read them do a bit of like make sure all my software's up to date and stuff but because of data security I can't work from my Mac I have to work from a uni computer I can't so I can't really do anything of use right now I guess it's just like getting orientated and doing all the introductory stuff 
I'm really fucking tired today. Can you see the bags under my eyes? Oh, God. Uh, undergraduate and postgraduate uh, master's students. It's currently 3pm. I've spent the morning trekking through all of the introductory webinars that were available on Liverpool's online portal. Also had to figure out how to get onto that as well, because since I've not run it yet. I spent so long trying to find specific postgraduate introduction stuff because a lot of it's undergrad. Finally found the correct module and there's so many different development webinars that I will spend time kind of going through over probably next week now because there is a lot to get through and you can only watch so much of it in one day. From what they're saying on the webinars, I feel like I'm fairly prepared-ish. Obviously I run my academic Instagram page. I have seen so many amazing PhD students go through their journey and learn from them. They make such great content. Yeah, I feel like I know what I'm doing a little bit, which is unusual for the first week. I do feel a bit weird because there's, there's such a lack of structure. And they've even mentioned this in the webinars. They've said that your first couple of weeks might feel a bit strange because you've got to find a new routine, figure out what structure works well for you. Like currently I don't even have any work really other than to orientate myself, which is fine. I think that's pretty normal. So for the rest of the day, I'm actually gonna record a YouTube video. Not this one, obviously I'm recording this one right now, but a more structured YouTube video because this vlog's a little bit all over the place. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going on a photo walk with the photography for Going on a walk with the Photography Society. I picked up photography in lockdown. I've always done photography, but I've only had my like entry level camera since last year so i've been learning all the techniques um to like manually use a proper camera which has been fun so we're going on a photo walk around liverpool i think we're going to the docks to try and get some cool photos and i'll include them in here if i get any good shots <laughs> if i haven't included them i didn't get any good shots yes yeah, so straight after that i'm going to gymnastics hopefully i'll have some footage to, to put in here as well I've only just noticed that I've had bloody four in a bed playing in the background behind me the whole time. I just videoed that section. I feel like the first couple of weeks, videos are not gonna look optimal in terms of setup because I need to figure out which setup works best for vlogs, for like structured videos. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time. I've turned four in a bed off now. <laughs> back from gymnastics uh, i didn't get any footage because we weren't allowed to film i've got some good shots I've, i'm sure you've seen them already because i would have put them in had a good day <laughs> oh, long day going back home in the morning and that will be my first week in liverpool done hopefully my week will be more structured next week thanks for watching see you later